Yo, well here we are, the 250km catch-up video. This is the second video in the series of the KS16S videos we're going to do, review videos we're going to do. Um, first one was the unboxing and the range test. Then we do the 250km, and then we do 650km, then we do 1000km, and then we sell it, as used. Um, so, how's it been performing is the question. This will be a short video. It has been performing really, really well. So there's zero issues so far with this machine. It has just performed like it did when we first got out of the box at 250 kilometers. So that's probably what you want to hear if you're considering buying a KS16S or you've already bought one and you haven't reached 250 kilometers yet. At this point in time, we've run into no issues whatsoever. So let's boot her up and see the exact kilometers she's on. So the trolley handle has remained the same. With the KS... Is connected. There we go. With the KS16 and the KS18L, it's really important you press the middle of the trolley handle button. Otherwise, you can wreck your trolley handle. It just detaches. If you press on the side, it detaches this side and not that side. So it's gonna be dead center. Um, but that's been... That's still working. All good. So, let's have a little look. Let's log into it. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we are connected. So we've got a total mileage of 274 kilometers, which is pretty neat. Okay, it's actually asking for a firmware update <laughs> as I've logged in. So I'm gonna do a firmware update now and we'll as well see how that goes. See if it works well, see if it doesn't work well. So I'm on V1.05, new firmware version V1.08. So just downloading the update. Okay, and the upload showing 0.00%, well, the download, should I say. So it's actually trying to download that file now onto the device. And Imagine then, it's off. there we go. Now it's actually updating. So that took quite some time. So if you are doing the update, just wait and wait and see what happens. After about 10 minutes, you probably want to give up. But it says does say upgrading, do not exit. Um, so, scares you then. Right, okay, well, we're back again. Um, unfortunately, I was gonna do a little time lapse on the old update there, but the SD card, for some strange reason, 256 gig, top of the range SD card, has bombed out, saying no space available, and there's only two gig on it. So we'll work that one out some of the time. So the update's been done, connected automatically, which doesn't always do, so the app isn't great. Um, it could do with an update, a refresh, make it look a bit smart, like the Inmotion or the Segway one, nine bot. Could do with that happening, really, to liven it up a little bit. It does look very, very dated now. The battery readout is a bit all over the place, very similar to Gotway. Doesn't always auto connect, things like that. It's, it's just a bit trippy. Um, but 274 kilometers got reading on there. The remainder mileage is never accurate on this app, it reads too high. So, yeah, little things like that. App boys, not great. So let's just have another look around the machine to see how we're doing. We put it back on the stand. And let's have some close up looks to see how she is faring. So we've got the power button area and the auxiliary button area. They're all good. The charge port cover has remained on. There's no damage there at all. Where the handle attaches into the body, there is no damage there. There's no chipping, no wear to see it currently. Okay, over to the side pads. They have not worn at all. Very resilient. Not really much of a marking on there either. The serial number label is starting to peel off and you've got sort of bits coming off that and that will presumably eventually fall off. Onto the foot plates themselves, you can see that there's the, the general scrubbing you get and the marks and things like that on there. Same with the other one here, you can see that it's got some wear and just wear and tear, general wear and tear on it really. Um, the back part here, just from being lent against things and just general wear and tear again, is actually scuffed up some of the, the matte finish and that is basically for being put in the back of the car, behind the car seat and things like that where it's been traveling along and it rubs against the carpet, it's actually worn that down. So you might want to get a cover or put it in a cover if you want to keep this neat and tidy for long periods of time you're transporting it. Tires worn really, really well. So no issues there whatsoever. That's all good. 
all clean, not much mud catches up on the inside of it. So that's really, really good. The front light lens, the, the plastic that covers that is getting some scratches on it. You can actually see that they're wearing and it's the same with the front end. It's actually worn away the matte finish, revealing a gloss underneath. So the matte finish is, it looks really, really nice, but if you don't protect it, you just put it in the back of your car, you're gonna get these rub marks on it. The foot plates, there's not really much wear on those at all. Um, we've got these side pads here that's getting really, really dusty. But one thing that has happened, and we don't know how this is, we've lost one of the side pads, actually unstuck itself and disappeared, weirdly. Uh, so we're missing that. So that needs to be kind of uh, repurchased and put back on. So it'll probably do with being a bit of a firmer fix, that one, to be fair. So that concludes, really, the overview of what happens after 250 kilometres, and it is all well and good. No issues to report apart from what we've just gone over, the wear, general wear and tear, which we're gonna get as we go further on through. So you'll see this take shape and change through the miles we go through. So the next video will be done at 650 kilometers. And we'll report back to you then and see how it's holding up, see if all the trolley handle, all the power ports, and all the buttons, they all work and the lights work and everything. And so far, absolutely spot on. No issues to report whatsoever. Cheers guys, please like, subscribe and share if you can and don't forget to get people to come on to our weekly show as well so and check out our website speedyfeet.co.uk where we sell the ks16s in a couple of colors so white gloss and matte black and various other wheels as well cheers guys until the next one